went up to the observatory <clears throat> a few days ago and watched the sunset. And I realized something about why there's color during the sunset. And I'm going to draw it out. So, on a, on a wide, on a, on a big scale. So we'll say this is the Earth. Now the Earth has an atmosphere, which causes there to be color when we look through it. And I'm going to I'm going to exaggerate the thickness of the atmosphere for purposes of explanation. So we'll say this is the Earth, and here is the atmosphere. I'll use a different color too. The Earth is blue. Fine. Oh, Earth. Now here's the atmosphere of the Earth. There, but it's not just this. It's we're gonna call it this. This is the atmosphere of the Earth. It's a, it's a thick. It's a thick thing around the Earth. And it may even be up against the Earth, but <coughs> we're, I'm going I'm to look at it as like something that's outside of the Earth that light is passing through. Now the sun, at any time, will be somewhere in the sky, and the light will be coming through, like all different angles. You know, it's like. It's refracting in different positions. It's passing through the atmosphere at different speeds because the atmosphere is a thick liquid. It's like a gas, but it's like liquid gas. I mean, it's you know, it's condensed. So when the, when the light passes through quickly, it's bent a little, and it's perceived as. Light with the with the uh, shortest frequency, which is the easy because it's, it passes through quickly. It's the easiest of the light to pass through. So it, it comes through with the quickest frequency, which comes out as blue light. But it's really it's really high powered blue light. So it's like really really faint blue light. That may not be true. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly why during the day it's blue, but I think it's because it's it's high frequency light that we're seeing at night. Or okay, then a, as it moves, the the sky may deepen, the blueness may deepen, and then during sunset, a real interesting thing occurs. It starts to turn red. Red is the lowest frequency light. Now, what I believe is happening. When we're seeing a sunset, say we're here on the Earth. Can you see these things? Yeah, you can see this. So we're here on the Earth, and the sun is coming around. So the sun is starting to set. So we're seeing light that's coming this way, and then hitting the atmosphere and bending, refracting through the atmosphere. But it's traveling so far through the atmosphere to get to us relative to how far it was traveling through in a straight line because it's actually staying in the atmosphere longer. So this time spent in the atmosphere by the light is slowing the light down. But it's not slowing it down velocity-wise because light always travels at the speed of light. It's slowing the frequency of it down. Although maybe it's slowing it down um, Velocity-wise, maybe it's actually, if you could think of light as something that you could throw, maybe it's getting slowed, but the frequency is getting is lengthened because it's slowing down, it's getting longer, the wavelength is increasing. So the light starts to change color. That's how we can tell that it's slowing down, is because it changes color, it turns red. And so we start to see these longer wavelength colors.
And then I saw something kind of cool um, when the sun was setting. Perceivably, that's a weird phrase. Set. Set was an Egyptian, <clears throat> an Egyptian god. That we equate. It was like set was the night and uh, Helios was the day, I think. Um, it was passing through the clouds. And it looked like this. Like the sun was like this. And it was setting through the clouds. It was like cloud. Okay, we'll do it. I'll do the clouds first because it was going behind the cloud. So the cloud was like like here, and the sun started to go through it, and then it wasn't, it stopped being a circle, it was like, like it got kind of mushed as it started, damn, it's hard to see, isn't it? This cameraman, I wish I had a better zoom. It, it started to mush as it went into the cloud, which is what happens when you put something into a glass of water. Like if you're looking at a glass of water from the side and you put like a, one of these in. I'll do this now maybe to, to prove it. Give me one second. See, like it's flatter at the bottom. Like it's not as circular, it flattens out at the bottom. That's what the sun looked like when it was moving into the clouds because the clouds are moisture, they're liquid. I mean, they're gaseous liquid, but they're really, they're more liquid than the air around the cloud. And that was an interesting thing that popped into my mind when I saw that. I think we can charge the clouds. The clouds are already charged magnetically, electromagnetically, electrically. I think we can maybe either charge them further or use their current charge and move them around with magnets to, to different points in, on the Earth like global magnets, and move the cloud structures systems over the deserts so we can replenish life in the deserts. Maybe a way to, to save parts of the earth from drying up. Well, I hope this stuff made sense. I was looking up why the light changed colors, and it was like this guy some lord something from fucking hundred years ago. Let me see. Lord Rally. Lord Rally's scattering effect may be accurate, but like these people from a hundred years ago, we live we live in this society where we're using science that's like a hundred years old. And people have just accepted it because they have their Big Macs and their TVs and their their indoor heating and their cars and their money. So they're like, okay, Einstein's theory from 1906, theory of relativity, is all we'll ever need. Rally's scattering effect, which is Lord Rally, so he's a lord, so he was in some monarchical period. People don't want to don't think. Um, another one. Magnetism, the idea of classical magnetism is like from 1850s or eight, the 1800s sometime. And people have kind of grown complacent with it. So I think it's time to open source a lot of this science and develop forward thinking ways of looking at it. That is all. <laughs> See ya.